mills, and this is how I made them. First, I'll take a full piece of paper and make it into a cylinder. And then tape the ends. Now you have your base. Now for the pinwheel. What you're going to want to do is fold it just like this, and then cut the remaining part off. Now you should be left with a perfect square. Take the other end and fold it like this. Now cut each end around 3 fourths down. Then fold the right side of each one down like this, so the tips are all on the middle. On this next part, you can make a choice. You can either use a pin like this, or use a broken chopstick. If you chose the pin, then simply stick it onto your base, and then put a paper flap on the top of it from the inside. Now use tape to secure the paper flap. Make sure not to tape the pin. If you chose the popsicle stick, slide the pinwheel up like this first. Then make holes in the base with scissors and stick in the popsicle stick. On the back of the popsicle stick, then take a piece of paper the same color as the base and stick it on all the way. Then tape the paper on. Do not tape the actual popsicle stick. Now it's finished. You can use the popsicle stick at the back to spin it manually, or you can use a fan. Take a look at these awesome results. The first strategy also can spin, just not as well as the second. Now, your pinwheels are finished. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this.